Good afternoon and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here today with Scout and Bernadette and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is Scout's ability to understand and respond to her formal on-leash obedience commands. The little tiny corrections and lots of motivation that we give the puppies when we're working with them and the training equipment that we're using. Bernadette's using a regular six-foot web training leash and she keeps the bulk of the leash folded neatly in her right hand. That leaves her left hand free to give any little adjustments that are given. And the only correction that we give is a little tiny tug and release on the training collar. And that is the second piece of equipment that we're using. Scout will be coming home with her very own training equipment. And you're going to be taught how to use that properly tomorrow during your follow-up training session. Now she is sitting very nicely at Bernadette's left, which is where all of our obedience training is done. And the first exercise that we're going to demonstrate for you is healing. Healing is nothing more than proper leash manners and the command is Scout Heal. Scout Heal. Now at this point, Scout has a job to do and that is to maintain pace with you when you're walking her. Not forging ahead or lagging behind, but staying right with you. If she turns, if you turn, she should turn and when you stop, she should sit. Perfect. Now, one of the things that you're going to notice is that Bernadette keeps her head up off the ground. She doesn't let her lead with her nose, and she wants Scout to be more focused on her than what's going on around her. So they're going to demonstrate that again and take another lap around. Scout, heel. And if you want to keep her focused, you can change direction, you can change pace, you're just chasing a butterfly. And Bernadette will throw in a couple of stops there so she can demonstrate her sit. If she doesn't sit, it's no sit. She's really infatuated with this butterfly who's not making it easy for us. But she's doing good. And the next command that we're going to be demonstrating for you is the sit stay. You take your hand off the leash, left open flat of your palm, about an inch or two from her muzzle, and the one word command to stay. Your long sit stay can be practiced indoors as well as outdoors, and it is a self-control command. So we're asking her to just sit there and be still. When Bernadette walks back to her, she'll just walk right back to heel position. And at this point, Scout expects to get another command and she gets a little pat for praise and they're going to heel around and demonstrate that heel, auto sit, and stay again for us. So this way you never have a puppy that's dragging you down the street. And I'm sure she's grown and as she gets larger she's going to get stronger. And we want her to have proper leash manners now. She looks up at Bernadette. Bernadette's going to give her that stay, stay. and turn to face her. And this time, instead of returning back to her, and you're gonna work this long sit stay up to three minutes over the next couple of months. You're gonna use her name, you're gonna lighten your tone, and you're gonna call her. And she's gonna come in and sit right in front of you, facing your knees. So if you notice, Bernadette uses her leash like a little fishing line and reels her right in to a sit. And consequently, you never have a dog that jumps on you and your guests. Just a little bit less praise there, Bernadette. So that's the other thing. When you're working with her, limit the, um, limit the amount of praise, limit the amount of stimulation. A, a little bit of praise with Scout goes a long way, and you see her lose her self-control. Stay. Stay. And then Bernadette is going to call her again. Yeah. Very good. That's perfect. Then they go back to heel position. They're going to just do a little semicircle, Bernadette, so she doesn't get too overheated. And we're going to demonstrate our down commands, and there are two. The first one is the down from a heel position. So with her seated at your left, you're going to use your left open palm 
straight down toward the ground on the one word command to down and stay. Turn to face her. Now, again, you practice this in your living room. On a hot, muggy day like this, the place to be is in the air conditioning. Practice indoors. You're working up to a five-minute long down stay over the next couple of months. Not today, not tomorrow. Bernadette called her out of that, and she'll demonstrate that again for us. When she gets mouthy, you get your hand away from her mouth and you tell her no. I say no bite. You can give that little correction on your training collar. And you can also walk back to her back to heel position. Scout, heel. She's getting tired. I know. Come on, Scouty, you can do it. Well, the last thing that we're going to demonstrate is now you can correct her out of that. Let her know. That's going to leave her in a sit stay and she's going to turn to face her. Stay. This time she's going to use her right hand, and it's the only time you're going to use your right hand to give the command. No, no sit. sit. Now, if she doesn't do it, get a, stay a little closer to her this time. Down. Stay. stay. Now we've demonstrated for you Scout's formal on-leash obedience commands. Her heel, her auto sit, her sit stay, her down from a heel, her down from a distance, and her come. These are the exercises that I want you to perfect with her for the first few weeks that she's at home. Please stay in touch with us with any questions or concerns. We have enjoyed her. She's a little bit of a challenge, but she did a good job, and we will see you soon.